I want to get one of these, I don't know which one though. I'm gonna get this one. So cute! Fine. So I'm just gonna water everything. Tuesday this is our watering day and it usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour and when I'm alone it usually takes like an hour when my coworker helps me it usually takes like 25 minutes ish our store is so much more full it looks so much better because it was so empty Yeah, watering definitely takes takes a while. Celine just made this for a customer. It's so cute.
so now I'm just gonna make a few bags of succulent soil. We make our own soil in house and sell it. And we have no succulent soil left, so I'm gonna make some more. Okay, so we got a lot done today. I am like debating if I should make some more LECA or not because we make our bags in-house as well. We don't make the LECA, but we just make bags of it to sell. We've been out of it for a while now, so I feel like I should probably make some, but I'm like, I think I'm gonna eat my lunch and then probably make some. Let me show you the store. It looks a lot more cool than it did earlier. I'll show some of the plants we got in like more in depth as well. Okay, so this is our like, we call it our pothos rack usually, um, because usually it consists of mainly binding pothos and philodendron. We have some marantas just randomly in there that we got. We always get really nice silver exoticas. I mean, these leaves are amazing. They're always like huge, full. We got some Peperomia Frost in. We usually always carry those. We got this Pink Panther Tredenscantia. We've been getting these in more recently. I love them so much. They're so dainty and pretty. We've had these Orbifolia Calatheas before, but I didn't really like them because they were browning too quickly. Really beautiful. They're really huge. We got these bird's nests in, super full and big. Got a few different types of bird nests too. Like this one, I've never seen this curly version. It's kind of funky, but I feel like someone's gonna want it. Like someone will see that and be like, yes, that's my type of plant. These in, we usually carry these curly versions. 
We've been carrying fried eggs recently, so we got a few more in. They look really good. New leaf. Super cute and fuzzy. We got these Swiss cheese totem poles, which we've never had before. I really like them growing on a pole. I think I like them more than when they trail. I think they're meant to really climb. Super pretty. We got two of these golden violin philodendrons. I've never seen them or heard of them before. They almost look like the silver sword, which we have one right here actually, except more neon. Here's the other one. The new leaf is really yellow and bright. I don't know, I like them. These are really popular. These are the Peperomia Lunas. Really pretty pink and come in all sorts of different colors. It's kind of hard to see, but we got a hanging basket of a Swiss cheese narrow form. We got some silver satins. And we also got the four inch rattlesnakes. I think I showed y'all earlier, but we haven't had these in forever and I've been looking for one, so. We kept getting the six inches in, but I've been wanting four inch, so I'm so happy we finally got them in. And of course, I picked one up for myself. We got a bunch of these philodendron jennies in. That looks super good in the four inch pots. Okay, before I go eat my lunch, let me show y'all what we got in the other day. They're super cute. We got Venus fly traps and three different types of pitcher plants. And they're in these two inch pots. They might look kind of big from the angle, but they're actually really small. Still, they're really cute. They usually are really popular, even though they're actually a really hard plant to take care of. You're not supposed to touch the traps because if you do and they close without any bugs inside of the trap, the trap will usually die off because they're just wasting energy. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but that's another reason why they die pretty quickly is because people are always touching the traps. It's actually not a very good thing to do, so I know it's hard, but try and not touch them. <laughs> so I'm off work now. I ended up not doing the LECA because I ran out of time. I didn't realize it was already um, really close to closing time. So I just ate my lunch and then we closed up shop and that was about it. It was a really slow day. Usually Tuesdays are slow, but oh my god, only like three people came in the whole entire day. But it's kind of good because we had to put the plants away and all that, so it's easier to do that when there's not a lot of customers, so it kind of works. But still, we only had like one sale, I think, one or two sales. I'm about to go to the park and collect some live moss for my work because it's kind of hard to find it online and we've been needing some for our terrariums and stuff and a lot of people ask about it want to, wanting to buy live moss as well so I figured I'd go collect some and I just have a couple of like old salad boxes with me I'm gonna put it all in. I guess I'll take y'all along with me so see y'all at the park. I just found this beautiful moss right here. I'm gonna take some of this. So I just got some moss from that patch. And when collecting moss, you never wanna take all of it. Remember not to, to leave some behind so it can regrow. So here's some of the moss I've collected so far. Dif three different kinds. I'm just walking around looking for some more and I found this little gnome. He's just chilling in the forest. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just found another gnome. He is so cute. Now I'm on the lookout. Y'all, I found another gnome. Oh my God. This is the funnest thing ever. I'm like, 
like debating. I need to go buy some gnomes now and like add to the gnome collection. I am now gnome and moss hunting. <laughs> I found another one. <gasps> he has a little mushroom. How cute. Okay, now I found a frog in a little house. <laughs> Eek, so cute. Anyways, back to what we came here for. Look at this moss. Oh my gosh, it's so green. I think I'm gonna get some. I don't even know what kind it is. But look how pretty it is. It's almost like feathers. some of what I was looking for. Pretty green, full pieces. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, I'm pretty sure I got enough moss. I'm pretty hot. I am not dressed to be moss hunting. But thank you guys for coming along. This was a really fun video to make. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll see you next time. Bye!